What is up, friends? It's Sergio with BustingPacks.com and SportsCardAlbum.com here with a box of 2014 Panini Elite Football. Elite Football is uh, the first product that all sorts of people like that uh, cards maintain value. It's not a low-end product. You know, you've got the score and the prestige and, you know, rookies and scar stars and those things. Uh, but Elite is the first one where... It's got a very, I don't want to say quite the top's chrome level, but it's got its following. Even collectors, there are a lot of collectors that are anti-Panini and all that stuff. They still all like Elite. It's uh, interesting how that works out. The designs are always nice. They've got the die cuts. They've always got there my boy, my Baylor guy, Josh Gordon there. As long as he can stop uh, toking up, he'll, he'll be one of the greatest wide receivers in the league. Terry West, Terrence West, my first autograph already. So here is the autograph. So they've got short printed autographs. Uh, if you find a Blake Bortles, the base green Blake Bortles rookie autograph is going to be numbered out of 25. Very simple, you know, they got the, the E in the background, uh, white gradient for the autograph for them to sign on, hollow foil card. You know, it's similar updated graphics, but uh, similar to what it's always looked like. Passing the Torch is famous. Their Passing the Torch has been around for a decade, and it's just always uh, an amazing thing. Oh, cool. So here's the Elite Series. Elite Series this year, they've taken a lot of pride in making it a beautiful card. Won a player profile, won an action shot, elegant with the foil. And these are short prints. These are not, uh, you know, they're not serial numbered, but uh, you're not supposed to find those in every pack. So they wanted to do, they didn't actually, they're not going to have an autograph or a memorabilia or anything version in this set. They wanted this to be a set that collectors want to put together themselves just for the beauty of the set. All right, so here's a Josh Gordon Bionato. Oh, okay, Elite Series, sweet. Well, maybe they're more common than I thought, but uh, maybe the whole deal was that they weren't going to be autographed. Still pretty card so here we might have a decoy and probably a rookie autograph Tavon Austin Jarvis Landry oh not an autograph but a rookie so even these rookies the base rookie card so this is the base out of 799 uh, but even these they're gonna have parallel versions that uh, get down the black finite 101s the die cut 101s here's a nice Richard Sherman Here's a Julius Thomas Eric Weddle face-to-face. -face. Very cool insert. This is actually a really neat insert for me. It's got like a black matte finish on the football field and really fine foil work, really intricate foil work on that field. Very cool insert. So the Johnny Manziel and the Blake Bortles and the Sammy Watkins autographs are selling for good money. Oh my gosh, passing the torch. Eddie Lacy, how cool would it be for that to be an autograph? Not a... Oh, what? Robert Griffin III on one side, Eddie Lacy on the other side passing the torch. That would have been insane to have this be an autograph, a dual autograph. RG3, my man, Eddie Lacy. I don't exactly know how they're passing the torch to one another, but um, I love both players very much. This is a thick pack, probably either a decoy or a memorabilia card. We shall see. This product sells well. The cards retain their value. Face-to-face -to -face of Cam Chancellor and Demarius Thomas. That's a pretty intense uh, rivalry after the Super Bowl. After the Super Bowl, which was painful, and I hate talking about it. Let's see what else we got. Oh, man, how amazing would it be to pull a black one-of-one of... One of uh, Lake Seastrunk. Oh, Richard Sherman Profiles. This is such a cool set. Look at that. You got Richard Sherman's face. So let's put a decoy behind it so you can see this for real. How bad ace is that? I love this. Wow, even the word Profiles is all die cut. That's a cool card. That is a really neat card. Yep, so the top autos sell really well. Here's an Eli Manning Legends Black and White. Legends of the Fall. Very cool. 
if any of you like to put together sets, this has a lot of inserts that have fun, just a, you know, inexpensive way to collect an entire set of cards. So you can put together the base set, you can put together the Legends of the Fall set, you can put together the profile set, and overall it's not going to cost you, look at that. These two are best buddies of Baylor. They threw a lot of touchdowns. Aaron Murray, this is going to be my autograph, I believe. And that is just rookie card. Rookie card out of $9.99 of Aaron Murray. Set that aside. 11 packs to go, I believe. Still have three hits. Ooh, here's a die cut. Big 12 leader in passes defended Jason Verrett from TCU. 21 out of 49. Red status die cut rookie autograph. This is the type of stuff that everybody's just salivating for. This is a gorgeous card. The holographic look in the background is ridiculous. Look at the die cut awesomeness. 21 out of 49. The Manzella, this would go for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Really, really cool card. And uh, that guy could do well. I've got another Legends of the Fall of Andre Johnson. So I've got two autographs so far. Jeremy Hill. Oh, there's my next autograph, Jeremy Hill. Bengals, base rookie blue. So I'll pull two blue base rookies. This is a really fat pack. This seems fatter than the others. Oh, this has something that comes in a case. This is something that comes in a sleeve. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, no, I can't wait. I've got to look at it. Oh, it's clarity. Look at that. It comes in its own case. Doug Martin. I'm pulling Doug Martin and everything. Clarity. Card number 35. That's crazy. They put it in a pack and it comes in a team pack. Let's take a look at this. Crystal clear. Cool texture. Doug Martin Clarity card. Very, very cool. I'll put that back in its sleeve. So, does that count as a hit? I don't know. So I've pulled three autographs so far. Here's going to be a memorabilia card of Chris Ivory. Whoa, Gridiron Kings out of 99. That is dirty. That is a dirty, dirty one. Love the look of the Gridiron Kings. One of my favorite sets. Um, they used to have it. I forgot what set they used to have it in. Um, threads used to have Gridiron Kings. But I love the painting design. I love that memorabilia look. Then we've also gotten the same pack debut numbers of Josh Huff, numbered out of 299, also an acetate card, which continue to be popular. They grade very well. So if you're into graded cards, those acetate cards are great. D'Angelo Hall, Des Bryant, face to face. All right, three, four, five packs to go. Oh, looks like we're going to get an extra hit. Looks like I love it when Panini does this. Alfred Morris, please be something prime. Oh, yes. Two out of 25. My man, Alfred Morris. Sick patch. Two out of 25. Oh, yes. That's an extra hit. Bonus hit. Let's be a hot box. Let's give me some more gridiron things. That's nasty. That was sick. Passing the torch. Richard Sherman and Marcus Trufant. Trufant. Three packs to go. Another decoy. Steve Smith, Legends of the Fall. Two packs to go. Come on. Surprise me with another autograph. I'm getting greedy. I've already got such a cool box. Kevin Nor. Oh, I got another autograph! Oh, no, I didn't. Kevin Norwood, rookie card, and Jordan Cameron, turn of the century green, out of 199. Still a pleasant surprise. Still a pleasant surprise. Last pack before the quick recap. Patrick Peterson, Arizona Cardinals, Elite Series. So, sweet box, beautiful inserts. Here are my autographs. I'm going to set aside over here. 
Got a stack of Elite Series, stack of Legends of the Fall, stack of Rookie Cards, beautiful memorabilia. All right, so let's do a quick recap. We got Jason Verrett, Status Rookie Card Red. We got a Jeremy Hill, Rookie Card Autograph Base, Blue. It's hard for it to focus, it gets all dark. Terrence West rookie card autograph. A Chris Ivory out of 99 Gridiron Kings dirty patch. So that's two memorabilia, three autographs. Nice clarity card. A bunch of sweet inserts. Am I missing anything? I don't know. Still more hits than uh, I expected. Really, really fun box. And uh, Elite's probably something I'm going to have to gamble in grab another one of uh we shall see but this is this is always a fun box so hope you enjoyed the break